Decades of research show that there is something you can do to keep your home from igniting during a wildfire. Remember, if your home doesn't ignite, it doesn't burn. What surprises most people is that it's the little things that can cause your home to ignite. And during the chaos of a wildfire, these little things might go unnoticed and turn into a big problem for your home and your neighborhood. You've got to act now to address these little things long before the fire ever starts. Luckily, many of the things you can do are pretty easy. Check your eaves, walls, and foundation for cracks or openings. You don't want embers getting into your house. Clear your gutters of leaves and needles regularly. Check out the first five feet from your foundation, deck, patio, or porch. There should be nothing that will burn next to your walls or under your deck. Flames contacting your house are a bad idea. Any place that you see leaves or needles piling up from where the wind blows them is where embers will go during a wildfire. These are the places to pay attention. Home improvement projects like screening your vents with metal mesh or replacing wooden attachments like decks or fences with non-flammable alternatives will take you a bit longer and may cost more, but will be extremely effective in increasing your home's chances of survival. When you're ready to replace your roof or your windows, cost-effective fire-resistant alternatives are a great choice. There are many things that you can do to keep wildfire from becoming a disaster right at your own home and together with your neighbors. For more information on how to live less dangerously from the threat of wildfire, visit nfpa.org and firewise.org.